Hi, I'm Kat and my subject for today is Jamie and we're going to be recording EEG from our bio amplifier which we have positioned on Jamie's arm here. And so today we're going to be recording EEG from the visual cortex which is positioned at the back of the head. And this is interesting because when Jamie opens and shuts his eyes we should see slightly different brain waves on our EEG recording, hopefully. So um, our amplifier has three different um, inputs positive, negative and a ground. So we're going to connect these to uh, different areas of Jamie's head to record the EEG pattern. So we'll start with our positive sight which is connected to the visual cortex. And we're going to record this from Jamie's left hand side. Now we already have the electrode in place and it's secured with this elastic bandage to keep it in place and we're going to connect this to our positive. And then our negative is going to the same side of Jamie's head on the left hand side to the mastoid position between uh, behind Jamie's ear. And our final connection is our ground. Now we could connect the ground to lots of different places but we want to try and avoid recording ECG from Jamie's body. So we're going to record from the right hand side a mastoid just behind Jamie's right ear. So that's the final one. So connect that. And now hopefully, when we look at our recording, we should see a signal. And we're getting something now. So we're recording something, but how do we know it's EEG? As I mentioned before, um, with recording from the visual cortex, if Jamie opens and shuts his eyes, we should see a slightly different trace. Now, as Jamie's got his eyes open and he is alert and awake, we should be seeing beta waves just now. And if he relaxes and closes his eyes, these should then become alpha waves, hopefully. So could you try closing your eyes for me, Jamie? And so it looks like our EEG trace is changing. So these could potentially be alpha waves, which is a good sign that we're recording EEG. Could you open them again? And our signal has gone back to what it was before, which suggests these could be beta waves, which looks like we are recording EEG, which is a good sign. Um, this particular system records from one position, but commercial systems record from all over the brain. So lots of different brain waves from different areas. And if we were using the same method we've used here, where we're positioning individual electrodes all over the head, this would take a very long time and be quite complicated to do. So for commercial systems, they use caps. And this particular cap that I've got here uses 74 positions already mapped out for you all over the head. And it means it's a lot simpler. All you have to do is connect the individual electrodes and then plug them into your amplifier and you're ready to go. It saves a lot of time. So that's how commercial systems use it. Thanks very much.